Welcome to this new episode or video tutorial of Equalist Analytics Incorporated. My name is JC De Guzman, and what I'm going to teach you today is about the significance or the kind of help that our price this our price volume distribution gives to our customers. As you already know, I am very fond of using my uh, proprietary charts. To name a few, I have the top 10 players distribution or the top 10 players uh, sentiment chart generator. I also have the price volume distribution uh, uh, chart generator. But today I'm going to talk about the price volume distribution. If you, uh, if you are a regular reader on our website at, at equalist.com, I know you are very familiar with my with 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 uh, one of the, my favorite uh, charts, the price volume distribution, like this one. So just a few minutes ago, I published a new article whereby or wherein I talked about uh, what I see on the price volume action of Bloom, ATN, PLC, MBT, BPI, Ayala Corporation, and RCB. So I just published this article a few minutes ago during recess. And this is what I am going to talk about. I'm going to use these uh, six or seven stocks to demonstrate why I love using the price volume distribution. So that even before you decide, even before you decide to subscribe to our Equipix service, you already know how to use uh, the data that I'm showing you through the uh, price volume distribution chart to your advantage. Okay. Bago pa kayo mag-subscribe, ipapaliwanag ko na sa inyo bakit gustong gusto ko personally itong price volume distribution na to. What kind of help? Anong tulong na naibibigay nito sa isang trader? No? Uh, not just uh, as an active trader but also as a long-term investor. No? Ano yung ano yung magiging magiging uh, mauuna ka ba? Magiging mas advanced ka ba kaysa sa mga ibang trader that uh, are not concerned about the price volume distribution ng isang ng isang stock you will find out okay so in this article i talked about seven different stocks let's see so as of recess no as of recess today the the volume weighted average price of bloomberry was registered at 10.44 and then i also mentioned yung top 5 prices that got the the highest number of trades no so in a day as uh, as trading happens for the particular stock maraming mga price points na na trade no magmula doon sa intraday low hanggang doon sa intraday high no maraming posibleng maraming price point yung na trade for that particular stock now sa price volume distribution chart it tells me kung ano ano yung top 5 price points na nakakuha ng pinakamataas na bilang ng trades or transactions. At the same time, this price volume distribution chart also tells me the top 5 prices that got the biggest volume. So, ina-arrange niya yung mga price points magmula again sa intraday high all the way to the intraday low. Nilarank niya yun in a descending order para yung mga price point na may pinaka uh, para naka-arrange yung mga price points magmula doon sa presyo na nakakuha ng pinakamataas na bilang ng uh, pinakamalaking volume hanggang sa pinakamababang volume at saka yung mga uh, presyo price points na nakakuha ng pinakamataas na number of trades all the way to the list ones no? so bakit why did I develop or why did I program this price volume distribution chart this way? Bakit gusto kong malaman yung volume weighted average price ng isang stock? Bakit gusto kong malaman yung top 5 prices na nakakuha ng pinakamalaking uh, bilang ng trades? And finally, bakit gusto kong alamin ano yung or alin-alin yung top 5 prices na nakakuha ng pinakamalaking volume? No? So, dalawang klase ng pinakamalaki ang measure natin dito, ha? The number of trades and the size of the volume. Okay, I'll show you. No? So, by the way, I'm using the first Metrosec Pro. No? Ito yung, this is the platform that I'm using for um, trading. 
So let me show you this. Bloomberry. No? Reminder, I just I just want to remind you by the way that these numbers uh, were generated during recess. Meaning to say, no, yung transaction lang na nangyari from the opening, from market opening, 9.30 all the way until 11.59 or 12 noon. As I record this video, it's already 1.47 p.m. So, yung transactions, those transactions that were uh, registered from, you know, when the market resumes at 1.30 all the way up to this time, as I speak, hindi na kasama. No? Hindi na yung kasama dito sa data or the, even in this uh, on this chart that we're looking at on these charts no so gusto ko lang i-set 'yon kasi baka mamaya ex hinahanap niyo na teka yung stock na to uh, umangat na bakit dito sa chart mo wala pa rin yung price na yon so again yung mga numbers na to plus yung charts na nakikita niyo ngayon sa sa website ng equilis.com uh, only regarded yung transactions na nangyari from 9:30 hanggang 12 before mag recess. Okay, clear? Now, let me show you here. Ikaw connect natin sa mismong ano market ha. Uh, as trading happens para mas naiintindihan ninyo. Uh, kung kung uh, ano yung pinanggagalingan ng motivation ko to to use this price volume distribution bago ako bumili at bago ako magbenta ng stocks. Regardless kung nasa short term trading mode ako or I'm on a long term investing mode. So, hindi na mimili ang price volume distribution. No? Hindi siya pang short-term trading lang. O hindi siya pang long-term investing lang. Regardless. No? So, first, uh, during recess, yung vol volume weighted average price point ng Bloomberry was at 10.44. Niround up ko na. At this moment, si Bloomberry, yung nasa ask volume niya is magkano na? 10.70 na. So, umaligwa na. No? Um umangat na kasi sa uh, volume weighted average niya. However, in top 5 prices niya, ito, 10.24, top 5 prices with the biggest number of trades during recess, ayan sila, 10.24, 10.40, 10.42, 10.5, 10.26. For the top 5 prices with the biggest volume, here's what you got, here's what we got, 10.22, 10.5, 10.40, 10.42, 10.33, 10.34, 10.35, 10.36, 10.37, 10.38, 10.39, 10.40, 10.41, 10.42, 10.43, 10.44, 10.45, 10.46, 10.47, 10.48, 10.49, 10.50, 10.51, 10.52, 10.53, 10.54, 10.55, 10.56, 10.57, 10.58, 10.59, 10.60, 10.61, 10.62, 10.63, 10.64, 10.65, 10.66, 10.67, 10.68, 10.69, 10.70, 10.71, 10.72, 10.73, 10.74, 10.75, 10.76, 10.77, 10.78, 10.79, 10.80, 10.81, 10.82, 10.83, 10.84, 10.85, 10.86, 10.87, 10.88, 10.89, 10.90, 10.91, 10.92, 10.93, 10.94, 10.95, 10.96, 10.97, 10.98, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.99, 10.
No? So, tingnan natin. Paano natin ma-check ma yan using the first Metrosec platform? 10.22, 10.44. If you're going to buy on ask, meaning to say, sila yung willing magbenta. No? Sila yung willing magbenta. Dito sa bid naman, you're going to sell on bid, sila yung willing bumili. No? Tingnan natin, 10.24. So nakikita natin dito, tingin tayo sa ano, bid column, 10.24. Hanapin natin. Um, doon sa mga willing bumili between 10.22 hanggang 10.24, malaki ba yung nakaparadang bid volume doon? Tingnan natin ha, 10.22 hanggang 10.24. So minimal lang. As of this time, no kasi posibleng kaninang uh, recess, posibleng Diyan yung bulto ng nakaparadang mga willing uh, willing bumili. Eh, 1.53 na ngayon as, as I speak. No? So, tingnan natin yung next. 10.40, 10.5 yung range na yan. 10.40, 10.5 hanggang 10.5. So, malaki-laki rin din. Malaki-laki rin yung volume na nakaparada. Yung bit sa bit volume. Between 10.40, ito, hanggang sa 10.5. No? So, kung nasa buying mode ka, ang tanong ngayon, bibili ka na ba doon sa 10.78? Bibili ka na ba doon? Or, mag-good till cancel ka? Or mag-GGTW ka? O GGT, uh, GT month? Or GT week? No? Ibig sabihin, good till week, good till month. No? Hanggat, kung naka-good till week ka, hanggat hindi na meron kang one week uh, bibigyan ka ng system ng one week hintayin niya hanggang sa mahit yung uh, transaction mo no? dun sa good till week dun sa good till month naman meron kang one month yun day hanggang dito lang for today lang I mean so kung hindi na hit yung transaction mo yung pinarada mong transaction at yung day ang pinili mo no? Exp exp expiration so kung hindi na na process yun walang hindi siya nahanapan ng kamatch No? makakancel yun. Makakancel dun sa nakapa, nakapila mong mga orders. No? Kung good till week naman, meron kang one week. Kung hindi siya na-process today, that's day one, you have until Monday, that's another another day. You have another, you have the entire week no? para hindi ka, uh, hindi mo ipinipila on a daily basis no? yung gusto mong uh, bilhin. So again, going back to the question, bibili ka ba at 10.78, no? Or hihintayin mong pumarada ka bandang ano, 10.40 to 10.50 kasi mukhang baka uh, babalik ulit doon yung price, no? So in this particular case, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin itong mga range na to as your buying uh, price points, no? Kasi mas mataas na yung mas mataas na yung uh, mga prices na nakapila sa ASIC spread. Of course, um, when when I decide ako, generate ko yung latest price volume distribution. No? So when I generate the latest price volume distribution uh, chart, there's a high chance, no? bilang nasa 10.78 na to, no? there's a high chance na magbabago talaga itong mga top 5 prices na to with the biggest number of trades and biggest volume. No? Kasi nga, again, up until uh, 12 noon, yung sinakop na data lang ng mga numbers na to, tsaka yung charts. No? Pa, paalas dos na tayo. Maraming transactions na rin ang naidagdag noon from that, since the market resumes no? at 1.30. Pero assuming, kunyari alas 12 pa ngayon. Kunyari alas 12 ngayon, at na, nakuha na nga natin top 5 prices, ito yung mga range na yan. No? Tapos nakita natin sa ASIC spread is 10.78. Uh, hindi mo mag, hindi mo, hindi mo I suggest wag niyo iparada yung price points niyo muna dito. No? Gamitin niyo itong data na to bilang panansya muna. Titingnan niyo. Marami bang willing? If you are on the buying buying side, gusto mong bumili, tingnan mo yung bid. Marami marami bang gustong bumili between 10.24 hanggang 10.5? Tingnan niyo. 10.24 hanggang 10.5.
marami pang gustong bumili sa area na yun. So, ito, mga nasa 6 digits, no? So, nasa 6 digits. So, kung, kung, kung maraming gustong bumili within that area, then, pwede nyo sigurong, pwede kayong mag, ano, maglagay ng good till cancelled or GT week, GTW na, ano, na order with a GTW expiration date or expiration type ng nasa 10.60 or 10.5. Definitely, mas mababa doon sa 10.76, no? So, so, ginagamit natin, again, itong data na to, to get a data-driven estimate doon sa psychological psychological uh, uh, thinking, posibleng, posibleng uh, uh, mga presyo na posibleng doon magpabalik-balik yung mga transactions. No? Okay. Now, let's move to ATN. Tingnan natin. I'm going to Papasadahan natin yung pitong stocks nung makita niyo. ATN. As of recess, nasa 1.45 ang kanyang VWAP. No? 1.45. So, yung ask spread niya ngayon, ang pinakamura ay 1.47. No? Tapos, yung kanyang uh, top 5 prices with the biggest trades at saka biggest volume, nasa 1.43 hanggang 1.45. Well, yeah, 1.43 to 1.46. Well, that's because Aapat na price points lang naman eh ang tinamaan ng trades kay ATN for today. Kaya lahat ng mga price points na yun lumabas din sa top 5. No? Obviously nakikita nyo naman sa ATN chart that there are only 4 horizontal green bars that represent the volume. By the way, on my on my price volume distribution chart, these numbers with, with an orange background, these numbers represent the number of trades. Habang humahaba yung green bar, ibig sabihin mas nagiging voluminous siya. Mas malaki yung volume niya. So, the, the longest horizontal bar represents the price point. Kung saan tumama man yung bar na yun, sa ang presyo. It represents the price point that got the biggest volume. No? Ngayon, uh, kapag kaya, kunyari si 1.45 siya yung pinamaha, pinakamahaba. O hindi kunyari, reality siya yung pinamaha, pinakamahaba dito. However, nakita mo dun sa number of trades niya, one lang. One lang. Samantalang yung mga katabi niya, double digit. So, ano kanya posibleng nangyari? Bakit siya yung pinakamahabang, pinakamalaking uh, volume na nakuha, pero siya yung pinakakukunti na trades na meron sa kanya, number of trades na meron sa kanya. That should already give you a clue na, ah, teka, there's a big possibility that this is only a cross trade. Cross trade. Ibig sabihin ng cross trade, uh, it, it's, a, it's a voluminous transaction, uh, processed by by the exact same broker, brokerage firm. No? So in my in my volume analysis, I disregard or I discard yung mga cross trades na malakihan. No? Kung malilit la cross trades lang, okay pa. Pero kung malakihan na in terms of millions worth of uh, uh, shares na, I disregard that. So in this case, uh, hindi naman hindi naman na uh, cross trade ang nagpalaki kay 1.45 it, it is justified by the uh, 100 trades no 1.45 for ATN 1.45 got the biggest volume and the highest number of trades so the question now is tingnan natin yung latest bid ask spread ni ATN so hindi masyadong uh, uh, malikot yung uh, market death market death ni ATN ano Paano ko na sabi hindi siya malikot kasi ayan no. Oh, more than 30 more than, more than 30 minutes have already passed since the market resumes after recess. Eh nasa 1.47 pa rin. No? It uh, it just went up uh, one tick higher than its uh, intraday high nung um, recess. Nung recess kasi ang intraday high was 1.46. Nadagdagan lang siya ng one tick, no? One tick 1.47. So ngayon um at titingnan natin ngayon, in this particular case, since hindi naging sobrang likot ng ano, yung fluctuation ng price, yung price movement, pwede na ba kaya natin this time na gamitin itong mga price points na to as candidates kung saan pwede mong iparada yung buying price mo if you are in a buying mode. O, 1.45. Kung kanina, pinasilip ko sa inyo yung bid spread, tingnan din natin ngayon, 1.45. Malaki ba yung mga Malaki ba yung interest ng mga tao na uh, bumili at 1.45? Di ba you buy on ask, you sell on bid? 
So kung magbebenta ka sa bid, sinong bibili noon? Sinong ku sasalo ng binebenta mo? Siyempre, yung mga willing bumili. So tingnan natin ngayon. Yung mga willing bumili, nasan ba? Sa ang presyo ba nakaparada yung bulto ng mga taong traders na interested na bumili kay ATN? So ito. Ito nga 6 7 digit nasan siya? Between 1.42 and 1.45, no? Between 1.42 and 1.45, 7 digit uh, bid volume. And pare-pares lang 2 digit din yung number of orders, ano? So, tingnan nyo, akma kaya, 1.42, 1.45, tingnan nyo, pasok siya, di ba? Doon sa range, no? 1.42 to 1.45. So, meaning to say, kung ako ang magtitrade kay ATN, hindi ako magmamadali na bibilin, bibili, bibilin ko siya. I'm not going to chase this stock. I'm not going to chase AT, uh, ATN at 1.47. Not even at 1.48. And of course, not even at 1.49 or 1.50. Maghihintay ako. Ilalagay ko between 1.42 to 1.45. Kung malaki-laki yung uh, fund ko na ipang trade sana kay ATN, siguro pwede, I'm going to entertain the idea na maglalagay ako ng GTW, o kaya day order na, na, na kay 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.55. Maprocess na kung sino man yung unang tamaan doon. Kung malaki yung... Uh, uh, fund size na ipang trade ko kay ATN. Pero kung relatively small lang yan, don't spread it too thin. Matatalo ka lang sa tax at saka doon sa transaction fees. So, yun. So, I hope you got that, no? And I hope you, underst you understand now, ano, ano kung ano, ano yung mga different scenario kung saan pwede mong i-apply yung tulong na kayang ibigay ni price volume distribution. Then, let's take a look at PLC. Tingnan natin. Malikot, naging malikot ba si PLC? Umarangkada ba siya? Uh, na mas mataas pa doon sa intraday high nung mag-recess? Tingnan natin. PLC. During recess, the intraday high of PLC was at 0 0.93. Nasaan na siya ngayon? Oh, hindi siya malikot. Yung cheapest price na nasa ASIC spread ay nasa 0 0.93 lang. No? 93 centavos. Okay, so tingnan natin, VWAP, 0 0.91. Okay, mas mababa siya sa uh, cheapest price na nasa ASK uh, column, yung VWAP. How about the top 5 prices that got the biggest trades and highest number of volume? Ang range niya ay between 0 0.89 hanggang 0 0.93. Actually, range na lahat yun. But take a look at the chart muna. Yung chart na lang. 0 0.9 to 0 0.92. By looking at the chart, mas titignan ko yung 0 0.9 to 0 0.92. Tingnan natin ngayon sa bid spread. 0 0.9 to 0. Tingnan natin yung uh, bid volume na yung mga, yung bid volume na yung mga prices na, na, na merong pinakamataas na bid volume at highest number of orders na nakapark. So, sa unang tingin dito, meron. Ito. 0 0.88 all the way to 0 0.90. Pasok ba yung 0 0.88 to 0 0.90 sa range na to? 88 to 0 0.90. Pasok siya. No? So, ibig sabihin ngayon, kung trade ko na naman si PLC, let's say nahuli ako this morning, ngayon ko na lang na nakita yung action, hindi na naman ako magra-rush na bibili at 0 0.93. Ipaparada ko yan sa 0 0.88, between 0 0.88 to 0 0.9. Especially kung nahuli ako. No? Siguro okay lang kung nakapag-position nakaposition na ako kay PLC and then gusto ko lang mag-top up and then based on my in-depth uh, technical analysis mas na push yung conviction ko na let's say sabihin natin basis sa analysis ko no? hindi lang sa price volume distribution kundi sa iba pang mga tools na ginagamit ko na push yung conviction ko na ay ito tataas pa to for that case i am going to entertain the idea na ah okay okay lang na bumili at 0.93 kasi nakaposition na ako eh no? Let's say, naka-position ako below 0 0.8. No? So, okay lang na bumili ako sa 0 0.93. Kasi hindi, hindi masyadong aray doon sa average price ko. No? Sana unawain ninyo yung mga conditional clause na, na sinasabi ko in this video tutorial. No? Huwag niyong, huwag niyong uh, uh, himayin lang yung sinabi kong bibili ako sa 0 0.93 and then kinakalimutan niyo yung kung yung kung na part ng kwento ko. No? 
So, lagi, lagi tayong conditional clause. May mga conditional clause yung ano, recommendations dito. No? So, speaking of recommendations, uh, these seven stocks that I've been talking about are not stock recommendations. Ha? I'm just, I just picked them kanina bilang nasa top gainers or top losers list sila na pang demo. Ginamit ko silang pang demo para mas maintindihan niyo saan, saan ko ba ginagamit itong statistics at saka chart ng price volume distribution bago ako bumili o magbenta. No? Again, sa kaso ni PLC, kung nahuli ako at wala akong PLC, nagbabalak pa lang akong pumasok, hindi ako mag-aapura sa 0.93, ipaparada ko yan, maglalagay ako ng day o kaya GTW order type between 0.88 hanggang 0.9. No? Ayan. Okay. Ngayon, kung may nakaposition na ako kay PLC, let's say napaaga ako between zero, below 0 0.8 nakaposition ako. Or below 0 0.7 nakaposition ako. Mm. Po pwede pa na bumili na ako agad kay 0 0.93. Kasi hindi masyadong hindi maaapektuhan ng ganung kalaki yung average price ko. No? Kasi nakaposition na ako beforehand. No? Conditional, conditional statements statements sa mga yan. Let's proceed with MBT. Now, for MBT, its VWAP during recess was at 77.86. 77.86, definitely higher than its intraday, than its uh, ano, uh, cheapest price na nasa ask spread niya. Ibig sabihin, mas bumaba siya. Ano? Mas bumaba siya. Ngayon, ano-ano yung mga uh, range nung top 5 prices with the biggest number of trades and highest volume. Ano yung range na? 77.3 hanggang 78, no? 77.3 to 78. Tingnan natin ngayon. Let's say buying mode ka. 77.3. Ito, 77.6 na. Tingin ka ulit ngayon kay uh, bid volume. Alin dito yung, aling price point ang may pinakamaraming nakapart na orders at pinakamataas na bid volume? Ibig sabihin sila yung mga willing bumili no? sa, sa mga gustong magbenta. Hmm, tingnan natin. Ito, itong 198 orders, sino to? 77. Si 77 ba? O mas mababa dito? Well, in fairness, that explains it kasi before recess or during recess na generate ang chart na to tsaka yung statistics na to. So hindi niya na na-consider na yung transactions from 1 point from 1:30 p.m. all the way to as of this time of speaking, no? So kung i-regenerate ko yung price volume distribution for MBT, then of course, mas makakakuha ko ng mas uh, uh, posibleng mas mababang VWAP or magka uh, it, we're going to see a rearrangement of uh, these uh, top 5 prices. It's also possible that a new a new price point will be added no so top 5 prices or or one of these five prices or one of these five price points will be removed from the ranking top 5 possibly may lalo, may tatanggal may may dadagdag na price point kung i-regenerate ko ngayon mismo ang price volume distribution for MBT now let's say ganito pa rin no let's say uh na I regenerated the chart and ito pa rin. Kunyan, ito pa rin ang nakuha ko. No? Ngayon, paano tayo, ano yung ano natin dito, trade plan natin if, you, if we would like to enter a new position on MBT. Fresh, no? Fresh uh, slate. Nagbabalak tayong bumili ng investment natin kay MBT. Saan ka bibili? Kay 77.5 ka agad? Magmamadali ka ba doon? Dahil porke yun ang pinakauna at pinaka-chip na price sa kaorasan na to? Or, Magpa-park ka sa 70, 77. Tinan natin sa 77. Oh, ayun, yung kanina. Tinan nyo, oh. 77. Tinan nyo to. Dito, kanina, no? Yung kaninang nag-recess, 12 noon. Yung price at 77, siya yung nakakuha ng pinakamataas na volume. So, tinan nyo naman sa chart dito, 77. Pinakamahaba siyang... Ayun, pinakamahaba nga yung kanyang ano, bar. Obviously. Isang tingin lang, alam mo na. 77. Uh, after more than 13 minutes, yun pa rin ba? Nasa kanya pa rin ba yung corona? Yung pinakama in-demand the price point? Well, 
Base sa nakikita natin, kayo nakikita nyo rin ngayon. 6 oh. digit yung bid volume niya and then 3 digit. Siya lang ang nag-iisang 3 digit na or a number of orders. Na, na mayroong number of orders na 3 digit. Oh. So, kung nagbabalak akong umenter on a new position with MBT, hindi ako magmamadali at 77.50. Ipapark ko yan at 77. Doon ako bibili. Okay. E paano kung magbebenta ka naman? Selling side. No? Selling mode. Saan ka magbebenta? Magbebenta ka ba at 77? Uh, no, magbebenta ka ba at 77.50? Or hintay mong uh, uh, or at a higher price. Tignan natin ngayon. MBT. Sino ba yung sumunod na mas mahaba kay 77? Mas maraking volume. 78. Tignan natin sa 78 dito. 78. Marami rin ang gustong magbenta. You buy and ask. Kung kanyang kabibili sa mga nagbebenta. O maraming gustong magbenta at 78. Yan o. Oh. Two digit. Two digit. Meron din two digit dito. 780 naman. No? Pero malalim-lalim na siya. Pero yung bandang gitna, 78. So kung nasa selling mode ako, hindi ako magbebenta. Kung hindi rin ako nagmamadali, ano? O oh, kung na naman yun, it's a conditional statement. Kung hindi ako nagmamadali, I'm not going to rush by selling it at 77.5. 77.55. Ipapark ko na naman yan at 80. No? 80. Uh, is 80 ba yung kanina? 78, no? Or between uh, 78 to 80. Yun yung, uh, yun yung range na ano, candidate ko as my selling price point. 77 to 80. Hindi 77.55. O bakit naman 78 to 80 ang candidate range ko for, sell for selling? Ulit. Pasok siyon, pasok sa pasok kasi yon dito sa range natin dito. Um, kung sa maghapon etong uh, 77 na to ang nakakuha ng pinakamataas na volume. Ito yung range na to, 77, 77 to 78. Ayun oh, no? diyan yung tipak ng ano, trades. Ayun oh, no? 78 saka 77. So there's a big probability din maglalaro actively, no? Din maglalaro actively yung transactions o yung trade. I'm, I'm not saying hindi na siya lalabas diyan kasi obviously merong lumabas, so ayan, no? But in terms of quote and quote siguro in demand or in popularity ng mga price points, eh, you know the psychology of uh, buying psychology of people. Kung aling price point yung bugbog sarado sa pagbabuy and sell, there's a tendency na talagang isasak in ng price point na yon yung ano yung demand no demand whether to buy or to sell so having having that idea having that uh, buyer psychology in mind you can you can take you can take that knowledge to your advantage magagamit mo yon kaysa kumpara dun sa mga traders na binebase lang ang kanilang buying or selling decision kung sino yung unang bumulaga na pin, nasa pinakataas ng ask volume o yung bid volume may mga traders na ganoon, bibili doon sa pinakataas. Magbebenta doon sa uh, nasa pinakataas, no? Especially mga beginners, no? So dito pa lang, may edge ka na kung mag magbebenta ka ba, regardless kung nasa buying or selling mode ka. May edge ka na sa kanila, hindi ka yung ano, kung ano, ano lang yung nasa tuktok, doon ka lang uh, doon mo ipaparada yung binibili mo o binebenta mo. So meron ka ngayon data driven basis. Kung maghihintay ka ba? O now na. Okay? I hope you're, you're getting my point. Maghihintay ka ba? O now na. Okay? Now, for MBT. Uh, no, we're done with MBT. Let's go with BPI. During recess, the VWAP of BPI was at 90.28. 90.28. So, hindi ganun ka likot o ganun ka layo yung tinakbo niya, no? As far as the cheapest ask price is concerned, as I speak, no, to 16 p.m. So nine, it's nasa 90.20. Okay. Ngayon kung let's say buying mode ka, uh, buying mode ka, wala ka pang BPI. Wala ka pang BPI. You're just planning to enter on, on a new position. Bibili ka ba kaagad sa 90.10? Now na 
or ipaparada mo sa mas mababa. Tingnan natin dito. Tingnan natin yung chart. Aling chart ang may pinakamahabang, ang aling price ang may pinakamahabang uh, bar? 90. Ito. Tapos kunin natin ng range. 88.9 hanggang 90.15. 88.9 90.15 90.15. Oh, pasok siya sa range na to. May tinamaan siya. Yung range na yun dito sa uh, statistics na na nandito. 89. Ano? 89.9 90.15. 89.9 O oh, yun. May 89.95. 89.9. Yun pa rin. Oh. 90.15. Actually, may 90.85 na nahagip na, na dun eh. 89.9 90.15. Tinan natin ngayon. 90.15 88.9 Tingnan natin, 88.9 buying mo, Pag buying mode ka, tingnan mo sa bid volume 88.9 May demand ba doon? Sa 89 Sa 89, may demand ba? 49 2 digit orders Number of orders, tsaka 6 digit bid volume Okay Considerably mataas na yun Okay Actually, siya lang yung nag-iisang may 6 digit na ano, bid volume. Ah, meron pa dito, sa 25, sa baba, sa 85. Pero 25 bilang yung ano doon, 25 lang yung, oh, hindi naman ang kakalaya, pero malalim-lalim na yun, no? 85. Dito, 89. So, nasaan ba ngayon ang kasalukay yung presyo ni MBT? 90.20. Oh, between 89 and 85, mas malaking chance na makaka- Makaka, magkakaroon ako ng shares today kung ipaparada ko na lang sa 89.9 kaysa naman kay 85. No? Kahit pa parehas silang 6-digit uh, yung bid volume nila at 2-digit yung kanilang number of orders, eh, mas mataas yung chance, no? probability na ma ma-process yung 89 kaysa kay 85. So, kung buying mode ako at wala pala akong BPI, clean slate ako kay, kay BPI, hindi ako bibili, hindi ako magmamadali kay 90.25. Ilalagay ko muna kay 89. No? It's either day order or GTW order ang ilalagay ko. Okay? Yun ay kung buying mode. Kung selling mode ka naman. Uh, selling mode. Let's say, kailan, una, singit ko lang ito. Kailan ka ba nagsasell? For our clients at Equalist Analytics, I advise them na yung kanilang trailing stop loss ang gawin nilang selling price. Because their trailing stop loss is a representation of the percentage of risk that they can, that they can only handle. No? Uh, diniscuss ko na to in one of the videos na meron kami sa YouTube channel ng Equalist Analytics. If this is the first time that you are watching or listening to our, to our videos, I would advise that you go straight to our YouTube channel and then pakinggan nyo yung mga recent or previous videos that I published. Doon ko mas in-expound yung trailing stop loss na to. Okay? Uh, okay. So, let's, let's, move with, let's move on to Ayala Corporation. Okay. Tinan natin, malayo ba yung uh, minove niya from recess? Okay, the cheapest price at ask spread is at 9.966. Malalim-lalim, no? binaba niya, 10 pesos. But as of recess, ano yung price point na may pinakamahabang volume? 997. Sumunod si 960. 997, 960, followed by... Oh, bakit pa natin tinitingnan yung picture? Meron naman na crystal dito. Actually, yun ang, yun ang purpose ng statistics. Kung mahaba-haba, ano? Di bale kung aapat na para ililimang price point lang ang um, tinamaan sa trading for that stock. Ma makikita natin kaagad sa picture pero kung mahaba-haba, itulad din kay Ayala Corporation, yung market depth niya malikot. Uh, hindi nagkasya sa isang screen ko yung buong chart. So, pa-scroll scroll pa tayo. So, at least meron tayong statistics dito naka-arrange na, naka-rank na agad. So, 997, 960. Buying mode ka pinaka cheap dito is 966. Hindi rin ako magmamadali kung gusto kong magdagdag, either kung wala pa akong Ayala Corporation at gusto kong pumasok, or kung meron man ako at gusto kong magdagdag, it's a schedule ko today for a top up. Hindi ako magmamadali at 966. Ipaparada ko yan at 
960. 9.60 po ipaparada. Tingnan natin sa bid volume, 960. Oh. Dami niyang ano, order oh, 32. Oh. So 960. Nakikita niyo, naiintindihan niyo na ngayon yung yung kagandahan ng meron kang price volume distribution na ganito. Tapos meron kang nakaready na nakarank ka agad na top 5 prices that got the highest number of trades and the biggest volume. Nakikita, I hope nakikita niyo na ngayon yung ano, yung yung speed when it comes to analysis, no? Kaysa doon sa i-pull up, pull up niyo pa yung ano, 1 minute chart, 5 minute chart, 10 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute chart ng stock. Uh, just to check kung alin doon sa alin yung intraday support levels, support and level intraday uh, support and intraday resistance niya kaysa gawin niyo pa yung ganun. Picture na lang. So for our clients, meron kami private clients forum. Pwede niyo lang i-post doon na sir. Pahingi naman ng latest price volume distribution ni ganitong stock. And then yung taong nakaantabay, either ako yung mga tauhan, no, or our co-analysts, ay eh, magre-reply doon. Posting the price volume distribution chart yung statistics at kung meron pang karagdagang advice no, na, na dapat uh, i-consider for that particular stock. Hmm? That's for AI Corporation. And lastly, RCB. For RCB, tingnan natin, malikot ba siya after the after recess? VWAP during recess was at 27.38. 27.38. Okay, medyo lumikot siya. Bumaba siya actually. Um, let's say buying mode ka. Let's say, let's say gusto mo. No? Kunyari gusto mo si RCB. Gusto mo siyang i-trade. Uh, bibili ka na baka agad at 26.90 or at a lower price. 26.90. It's the second price that got the biggest volume pala. No? Uh, for the first half of trading today. No? Bibili ka na ba dyan? Siya na ba yung cheapest sa top 5? Prices with the biggest volume, base sa nababasa nyo ngayon. Yes, 26.90 is the cheapest. Bibili ka na ba 26.90? Well, perhaps you will consider that. But, again, itong chart na to, up until 12 million transactions lang. No? Oh, Nag-resume na ang market kayo ng 1.30. So, if I'm going to regenerate my price volume distribution for RCB, then, uh, malaking chance na magbabago yung uh, pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga numbers at saka yung mga numbers mismo na nakasulat sa top 5 prices with the biggest volume at saka yung top 5 prices with the biggest number of trades. Okay? So, yun. I hope you... Um, I was able to help you understand the benefit of being able to ask us ng pahingi naman po ng uh, latest price volume distribution ng ganitong stock. Pakiinterpret na rin po yung chart. I think nakikita nyo na ngayon yung uh, uh, reason kung bakit gustong gusto ng mga, na mga subscribers yung ganitong klase ng analysis. No? Uh, pronto, nakikita nila kung saan sila puposisyon, maghihintay ba sila, bibili na ba, now na or later. No? So, at least by, by, with this, hindi na nila kailangang i-pull up yung, ano, yung uh, intraday chart. Mabilisan, picture. Actually, kahit wala yung, kahit wala yung statistics dito, uh, kahit picture lang, makikita mo kaagad. Hanapin mo lang alin yung pinakamahabang ano, green bar. At saka mo tingnan kung uh, hindi naman ba, ano, kung malaki din ba yung number of trades. Kasi kung pinakamahaba yan, tapos isa lang nga ang number of trades, eh, cross trade malamang nga. So, that's it. Now, for those of you who are now interested, no. to subscribe to Equipix, all you have to do is go to equilist.com on this website and then go to Equipix. Okay, let's uh, wait for let's wait for this page to load. And then on the Equipix page, nandiyan yung mga prices. No? And then kung ano-ano yung mga benefit ng subs uh, magiging subscriber ka. So you will you will have access to sa stock recommendation score for short-term trading and then stock recommendations for long-term investing as well. No, hindi lang puro long-term dito. Meron ding for short-term trading. And at the same time, the, the, the favorite part, one of the favorites ng mga subscribers is yung mentoring part. No? 
hindi ka lang basta-basta bibigyan ng table o ayan tapos ng trabaho namin diyan binigyan ka na namin ng listahan ng bibilhin and and what not huwag ka na magtanong no hindi siya ganoon binibigyan ka namin ng listahan ng kung anong bibilhin kailan magbebenta o online trade setup at pwede kang magtanong as long as you want no so ganoon yung sa Equipix service. Now, for the subscription steps, simply lang, first, enter your first name, then last name, and then your email address, and then click on register. Hindi pa natatapos doon. The system will send you an email. Open that email. If wala sa inbox, please check your spam folder. Click the email, click the registration completion URL or link, and then it will ask you to enter other pieces of information, such as your mobile number, address, uh, etc. So once completed na, once na nakompleto yung registration nyo, meron na kayong username, you will be redirected to our member login page. No? On our member login page, you will see na yung status of your registration ay ano makikita yung status sa registration ninyo pagka-complete, pagka-complete ng registration. Of course, hindi pa yan, hindi pa Equipix annual subscription ang nakalagay. Ang nakalagay dyan ay awaiting... Uh, confirm, uh, ano, uh, awaiting payment or for payment verification no? naghihindi pa ng bayad so paano magbabayad at ano yung mga payment options click nyo yung pay or renew subscription button no? now for the pay, re- pay and renew subscription button uh, you will see three payment options yung isa recurring yung dalawa naman non-recurring ano tong recurring non-recurring kung ayaw nyo nang naabala let's say Ayun yun ng uh, on a monthly basis eh, pupunta kayo over the counter para lang i-renew yung membership ninyo para maiwas sa traffic or yung uh, physical effort just to pay over the counter. Eh, mag-automatic na kayo. Recurring, or, recurring fee or automatic renewal. You will pay using your credit card or debit card through PayPal. So, every billing cycle, you will be charged, you will be billed. Hindi nyo na problema yung uh, renewal ng subscription ninyo. Some of our customers na, na, na naka, dating non-recurring, nag-switch sila to recurring kasi minsan uh, may big activity sa market, maglalagin sila, and then bubulaga na lang sa kanila, inactive pa lang yung account nila because 7 days ago nag-expire na yung membership nila. So, yun ang hirap doon. Pupunta na ka na naman sa banko, ipapadala sa amin yung proof of payments, of course, it will take a few hours before ma-reactivate yung account ninyo. Baka tapos na yung boxing nun. Tapos na yung trading bago na-reactivate yung account ninyo. So, to avoid that, um, to avoid that uh, inconvenience, I would suggest yung recurring. Eh, pares lang naman ang babayaran. Whether recurring kayo or non-recurring. Pares lang naman. Um, ngayon, paano naman kung gusto mong magbayad to your credit card pero ayaw mo nang non-recurring? Ayaw mo nang recurring, gusto mo one time lang, pero credit card. No? Convenient kasi yun eh, ayaw mo pumila sa banko. So credit card, pero hindi siya auto bill. Pwede rin naman, Ayan, non-recurring. No? Non-recurring using your, uh, using your, ano, uh, ito, non-recurring using your uh, debit card, credit card, or PayPal balance. No? If you would like to pay using yung classical way of paying membership sa banko, online banking, pwede rin, no? yung sa BPI, yung transfer to anyone feature, Metrobank, BDO, pwede. Remittance, if you are abroad, punta kayo sa remittance center, and then tanongin nyo yung cashier kung po pwede bang magpadala ng payment diretso dun sa bank account. Hindi door-to-door. We don't accept door-to-door. Or we don't accept for pick-up na payments. Ipadiretso nyo na po sa banko, sa bank account. If you're an OFW and you don't have time to visit a remittance center, you can also contact one of your relatives sa Philippines para i-deposit yung subscription fee ninyo or membership fee sa banko on your behalf. And then ipadala nyo yung proof of payment uh, sa amin by replying to that system-generated email na na-receive nyo noong kinukumpleto nyo yung inyong registration. Uh, good news nga pala, for those who will choose yung recurring payment, yung magbabayad ng uh, through credit card or PayPal or debit card, tapos recurring pay payment ang pinili, automatic na maa-activate ang account ninyo basta nakabayad kayo. 
hindi eh, nyo na kami kailangan kontakin to tell us na tapos na po, nabayaran na. No need for that. Anti-manu, eh, ma- ma-react, ma-activate yung account nyo. No need for human, inter- human intervention just to activate your account. Uh, yun ang speed, no? Convenience sa speed of activation. Okay, so if you have questions uh, regarding my uh, uh, illustration of the benefit of using yung yung price volume distribution sa alin aling scenario siya nagagamit no uh, pwede pala siya whether you're on a buying or selling side no no uh, yun pala yung purpose ng price volume distribution i hope na intindihan niyo ninyo kung just in case something is not that quite clear to you don't hesitate to comment on this video or you can send us an email you can contact us we have a contact us uh, page on our website okay don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. They are all mentioned at the bottom or on the at the description on the description part of this video. Uh, join our Facebook group. That's for free. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to our free newsletters. Uh, stuff like this. Let's see my video, uh, my free video tutorials, and then my f- uh, free daily analysis. I send them first through email. Uh, I send them first through email just like what's mentioned here. So, yung unang makakabasa ay yung mga nag-subscribe dito sa free newsletter namin. Yung mga hindi nag-subscribe dito, maybe after a few minutes, yung mga tira-tirang information na lang na mga nauna sa inyo, yun ang, uh, well, I mean, may mga nauna na sa inyo na nakabasa ng information. So, might as well, I recommend, libre naman, uh, register dito sa newsletter. Okay. So, again, my name is JC De Guzman of Equilist Analytics. And this coming March 23, I'm going to have a stock market seminar in Tarlac City. It's entitled, How and Why You Should Invest in the Stock Market. Most people, they will just talk about how to invest, but I'm going to drill down on the why as well. So, how and why you should invest in the Philippine stock market. Thank you and have a great day.